back to the uh, third day of the 2014 Grimmies at HorribleNight.com. Moving right along to our Fuck Me Award. <laughs> My pleasure. Right. Do you think I okay. had the right inflection on that? Um, so this is the game that beat it? the shit out of you, but you uh, still like playing the game. So uh, Our nominees are Divinity... Div- really? I guess it is a tough game. Divinity Original Sin. Is that right? Original. Yeah. I don't yeah. know anything about the game. Original Crispy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Trials Fusion. <laughs> Hearthstone. Destiny. I, I think I can hear Cole cringe every time <laughs> I say Hearthstone. Uh, Alien Isolation. <laughs> Hearthstone. Far Cry 4. <laughs> so why does Cole have a Dark hatred for Hearthstone? Souls 2. It'll be revealed, I'm sure. Gods mm-hmm. will be watching. The truth will come out. I just wish Kenny was here so we'd have more backup. Yeah, I didn't know Kenny liked Hearthstone. I think Cole took him out. Lou Frowsers. I can see Kenny in the <laughs> he background. killed Kenny? There's duct tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a huge Hearthstone fan, There's so I killed tape. him. Yeah. <laughs> He's on a, a, a slight uh, psychiatric hold <laughs> until we're done. Uh, we got Wayward yeah. Souls. Anybody else play that? I played a little bit of that. Right. I forgot right. it came out th- last yeah. year. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a mobile game. I was mobile asking, I was asking Dark Google, Souls. not you guys. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We are Google. 1001 Spikes and then Shovel Knight. Can I throw one in? Nope. I mean, yep. Oh, well, yeah. It's that iOS game. Can I throw Banished in there? I guess. Did that come out this year? Or yeah, is it, it still in early access? No, it came. No, the like, guy, just he, he waited until he was done with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, bam. Suck it. Anybody else have any bam. challenging video games to add to the Fuck Me Award nominations? I don't, I don't play challenging video games, so okay. no. <laughs> Cross the road. Would the enemy within? Fit? <laughs> oh, that's a different kind of. Never mind. <laughs> it's this year's Remember Me. He said um, it. Far, <laughs> far Cry 4 hard? No. Yeah, um, uh, not. Not not as much yeah. as some of these, but yeah. I mean, if you if you watch my it first couple if, streams, if yes. I mean, if, if you've not video, played Far Cry before, it can right? Be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there 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 are certain scenarios that if you're trying to do them a certain way, like I was trying to be real sneaky with arrows one time, that didn't go over very well. So <laughs> then Jason, I went guns and blazing, and guess what? That you know didn't go you can over make very well. Health stints, right? That you can just heal. Uh, did you not see me hitting Y for heal? <laughs> Over, seen, yeah, and over, over and over and like, over. Yeah, you didn't like, have yeah, you didn't have the health like syringes, so you were just hey, that, I go old school. Uh, <laughs> you were like dogs were biting you, and you're ripping bullets yeah. out of your wrist. <laughs> you know, stick. Yeah. Would you not have it any other way? <laughs> no, it, it was fun to watch. It's perfect. Uh, is Destiny hard? Mm-mm. Destiny. Well, no. d- Dest. Well, okay. okay so Destiny. It's, it's hard to Destiny keep is playing. the game that you it's hard to keep playing. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's you want to. I wanted to play it. It's li- hard to keep playing, you and you can't play it yourself. by yourself. So it's mm-hmm. like, well, shit. That like all the raids, you can't match make for the raids in that game, and so you have to get online or have friends playing Destiny to even do the well, new content they put out. And you guys, and you also have to be. Doesn't it? Te- yeah, be this tall. <laughs> doesn't it pair you up with other people too? That are in the same. Does it kind of help correct that? No. Well, it's got instancing in sort of a way that if you're standing like near the out the entrance of a raid, yeah, there you might see guys who are about to go in, which it happened to me once, and I'm like, oh, I might get to try this raid out. And they kept trying to invite me to their squad, and it would fail every single oh, time. Okay. Like every one of their team was like sending me an invite, and every time I went to accept it, the, my PS3 was throwing this error at me, and like, oh, I just can't do it. Hmm. And just we couldn't talk to each other to say, hey, I'm having a problem, unless we went through, like, PS... I mean, I'm just saying, so like, it people beat the hell are... Out of you. Like, it beat the hell out of me trying to actually enjoy it. <laughs> people are <laughs> exploiting and being the boss by the... The braid bosses by themselves, like, as far as... But do you still... Okay, this is the difference between that one, though. Do you still love Destiny? Because that is a part yes, of the category. Yes. Yeah, that is a part of the category. I... S- Love is a strong word. <laughs> he wants I still, I need, wants a to I still want I need to a ring on it right now. <laughs> I still play it every now and then, and I still like things about it. I will come back to it, but there are a lot of barriers in my way. So, so I don't I, hate so it. So then I would say that would qualify it for not to be on this list. To not be on the list. Yeah. Because it's still, I mean, the game beats you up, it. but you're not coming back to it regardless. I don't think enough like, people regardless. like this game to even, yeah. yeah right? I, it's not going to win the category. Okay. <laughs> I will say it that way. It's, it, it I'm just wondering you if, in different ways. Just, I thought you were going to go with the crypt dark angle. So I'm just wondering. That's if, a whole <laughs> other level of fuck. Right? I, <laughs> I think this this conversation probably would have happened with less on this list. 
Yeah, I if the list was smaller. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, I'm still just picking and choosing what right. I think isn't gonna make the cut. But it's not gonna make the cut with this list. And yeah. also, you can take. Oh, uh, I I I'm gonna target Hearthstone as well. Yeah. Just that that's. It depends on what happens to you in Hearthstone. Hearthstone's a lot of at least in the past there was a lot of swinging in games where you think you're in the lead and all of a sudden when miracle rogues were a thing oh yeah <laughs> you yeah. were just getting <laughs> fucked in one turn 20 something damage yeah. happening to yeah, you and like you, you lost damage. the game <laughs> I like Jordan back there oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. baby oh, God. all yeah, those Mer- hearthstone games oh, i lost yeah <laughs> said. oh man Harder, oh, okay baby. i won't cut i won't cut it first because then i'm going to lay the the fact that <laughs> gods will be watching isn't actually fun to play it's not fun to play but <laughs> it's, I have fucking mad respect for this game. It's, yeah, it's not fun to play, but it's I don't, a very interesting game. Yeah, I don't love the game, but I love that what they it, made what it does. that yeah. game, game like that. Yeah, I hate the yeah. players. And, that, and the <laughs> fact that a lot of people have seen that game. I also don't love loop trousers. <gasps> it's fucking hard. Like, the high it level is player, that is hard. It is hard, but, but it like, I, so I, don't, yeah. I don't think it's that fun. I I play like for the course of a week every now and then and I haven't played it since. Yeah. I just I tried really hard to like it and I just lost interest. I like what it represents. I like what it, I like what <laughs> it right, is, but it's not gonna win. Yeah, it's not gonna win. It represents boats getting sunk. <laughs> Thousand one spikes is fucking hard. <laughs> that game's harder than Shovel Knight. Hard. I don't I don't know if I don't yes. know if difficulty is what stands out with Shovel Knight. Like there are okay, there are aggra- aggravating sure. moments in Shovel Knight yeah. where it's like, oh great, a jumping puzzle. Yes, I died to spikes over and over again. I just played it before this weekend but to try to finish it. And in Shovel Knight, yeah, Shovel Knight. Yeah. I played it some more, and there's a whole room where I just died over and over again. And you're watching your gold just go up. It, so it's it's challenge maybe more of a detractor than an attractor. I feel like that's kind of what this. This yeah, category this is, is the challenge keeps bringing you back. I mean, I'm not super far in Shovel Knight, but it seems a way easier to me than like Vulgar and sure. those kind of games. Sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, I, I mean, it didn't... Yeah, I, that's true. I haven't gotten to a point where it's beat the hell out of me yet. I mean, it happens. I know it... it yeah, I'm sure it does. Game is I'm sure it does, but yeah. yeah the like, end. like from start to finish, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, extremely but challenging. what you're saying, yes, that's true. Thousand and uh, One Spikes is kind of yeah. difficult, but I don't know if... Is it fun? <laughs> I haven't <laughs> That's decided. a great question. I don't know. I haven't deci- I didn't stick with it. So I, yeah. I, I didn't stick with it either. I don't think it has so the... It's, I wouldn't vote it. I don't, I don't think it has the support. I don't even know Wayward Souls is all that hard, but it's got a lot I of haven't gotten past the first level. Of Wayward Wait, Souls? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You haven't right. installed Again, I think, that, I, I I think that's a controller that issue then, right? Play no, I mean, I it's... I played the game a lot. I like it because it, it definitely... It took some from the Souls series, and then but also made like... Uh, it's touch controls are so good for a dungeon It's really good. On the... I'll mage, touch. yeah, Mage Gauntlet was their first game, and it's basically just the same mage assets Gauntlet, like that. and the um mage and the same Gauntlet. art and controls. So on one hand, I didn't hear as much about the new trials this year as heard other trials, but on the other hand, I heard that it like it either gets harder quicker or like the end is just it's so much worse than it has been. What do you? The where end. You stand There's a story to that game. No, just like the. The ramp up and some oh, bullshit. Don't they, don't they do track. a? Doesn't it do a lot more with act. like the trick tracks? I don't know. Trick tracks. Yeah, but the trick system kind of sucks. Does it? Um, yeah. I don't think it belongs on this list. All right. Because um, it's not. You're gonna be. Fun. It's, you're gonna be its flag yeah, it's holder. Not, so. I'm gonna... It's not as fun as the past year's games. So. Uh, uh, I've heard things have vanished, so I'm not gonna touch that yet. Uh, Dark Souls Two. Eh, oh. It's hard. People like that. <laughs> <laughs> eh. That's the nature. Is of is the difficulty one of the draws to Divinity Cole? Like overcoming the challenge, or I know it's just a hard game and takes. That's a lot what of it was for me. Um, it's just like <laughs> figuring out the combat and uh, the challenge of because I don't really have a lot of experience with games like this, so maybe. <laughs> Maybe it would be different for me than somebody else playing sure. this game, but um, I don't think it stands with the the rest on here in terms of the group that we have talking about this stuff right now. Yeah. Okay. I just don't. I don't think Hearthstone's in that. Yeah, I was about to say somebody needs to defend Hearthstone. I, I can't. Like, not not for this award. Like, then take it off the list. I think. Yeah, the nature of collectible card games is that. I mean, if you have. If you pay or you ha- play enough that you get all the good cards, I mean, you will be better than 
newbies and that might make it hard for them to get into the game but personally getting crushed time and time again does take me make me take a break in this game more yeah. so than try to push through yeah so i mean against other things on the list hearthstone can go what's banished so banished is essentially um it's a town sim. it's a town sim uh so but it's yeah. set in sort of the uh colonial times and it really doesn't hold back any punches in terms of getting off to a really good start. Um, is that the one where everybody's like 13 to 18? Yeah. They, they don't live very long. Yeah, so you've, you've, you've got essentially... 13 is a good childbearing age, and yeah. so they need to start producing children. <laughs> I don't think I ever really got past... I know Ethan really loved the game, too. A couple so. of seasons, but it was... I mean, it, it could... You could have like a tornado rip through your town or like have the worst winter in history, and you'd still come back to the game. I mean, and, and just so, just for the fact that the developer purposely waited to release the game to make sure that it, you know, he wasn't going to have to really, I don't think the, I've ever really gotten more than three patches for this game. Did, it, it, it was just it so that, complete. Uh, does it do the dark, the don't starve thing where, like, you're expected to fail, but every time you fail, you've learned more. So now on your next. Your next session, in a, in a you, sense, but you you're gonna have to work a whole lot harder to get yeah. there. I mean, you're you're gonna have to work just as hard. Yeah. So, uh, basically, getting you know, collecting resources. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty cutthroat. It's not. I mean, and this is all the same time when you know SimCity came out. So you were really it was really hard not to compare it to to SimCity at the time, and it just blew SimCity out of the water, in terms of you know town management. Probably not as... Some city wasn't this year. This a, well... You're sure Banished was this year, though? So that's really all I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. Do you love Banished? Do I love it? Yes. Put a I'm, ring on that. And so... Put I'm a okay. ring on I'm it. okay with it because I know Ethan Ethan would echo yeah. everything he said and more, so... No, with you loving that, I'm kind of questioning Dark Souls. So, my, yeah, my question with Dark Souls is, did anyone push through it this year? Mm-mm. I play those games super slow. Okay. No, I, I mean... I just don't feel like it... I didn't I don't only, feel like the hook was there like it was with... Dark yeah. Souls one and well and yeah. we're waiting and for blood. From what I've heard, st- I still have Dark Souls in the 360 package. Yeah, yeah. From what I've heard, I it's, it, not, I, it's I, not even as hard as the yeah. first one. Yeah, because I rented that and I played it I and like, I hated it, but then someone bought it for me for Christmas and I still have it. I like I, <laughs> someone doesn't know you very well. I know. Okay, so I would have had the same question before I move on with Alien because I know some people got alien. Frustrated. I got some some people got frustrated with the random random I'm telling you man, I'm having like strokes playing that game and I still <laughs> am like what do, like I could play 3 or 4 games, which one should I choose? I'm going to play Alien Isolation. Why? Because well, I I'm myself. crazy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. And that would be I, I my think, strong argument for it. Okay. And, so and, that's I was going to say I th- I feel like I feel like I'm happy having Wayward Souls on the finals. Um but I, I think, think there, are, alien I think banished. there are a lot more. How did Wayward Souls get on? There? That's funny, <laughs> Justin. Yeah, it just snuck. I up, I, snuck I, I think there. for Alien compared to Banished, there are a lot more like okay. frustrating moments where you're just like, "Are you kidding me? Like this is happening?" And then you just you ultimately know you're going to have to do everything you just did in the same order, but you you just can't. You just can't in Alien Isolation. Like, it's just impossible to to try to. And that's what's so nice about it too is that you know you you might have done something wrong but then oh now i'm gonna try it this other way oh that didn't work let me try this this other way. and it's just this constant you know evolution of trying to get out of a situation whereas banished like jordan said you do kind of learn your yeah. lesson and you just kind of anticipate that yeah, after like a while you're supposed to fail yeah finished. yeah eat that mic jordan you keep talking to us over oh, here sorry <laughs> it's fine <laughs> um, i said i said i don't even remember what i said sorry. okay good <laughs> alien isolation wins the fuck me award yes <laughs> you say remember me nice I, <laughs> I'll drink to that. Uh, fi- uh, <laughs> oh, other finalists are Wayward Souls and Banished. Alien. Oh, oh, my buddy. My buddy's back. Wait, what one? The Mr. Dave Award. Mr. Dave. Who won that last one again? Uh, Alien Ice Alien. Mm-hmm. Why? And now we got the Mr. Why? Dave Award for, be- <laughs> for best new character. Because it makes you cry. Fergus. I miss Mr. Dave. Makes you think. Fergus. Mr. Dave. I miss Mr. Dave. The best man ever born. You had an opportunity to bring him back. Nominees for best new character are Iron Bowl. Apparently Fergus. people like him. Digital Spacey. Fergus. <laughs> yes. Fizzy from Sunset Overdrive. Fergus. Fergus. Jesus. 
<laughs> Pagan Ben from nice. Far Cry 4. Why do you guys keep bringing up Ferguson? <laughs> <laughs> the douchebag <laughs> douche in South Park. Uh, I do oh. like douchebag. I laughed when Big that happened. Me. Well, yeah, because you, you like yourself, right? And I do the love myself. Us. I love myself. <laughs> douchebag works myself, because right? you are making the character like Mr. Dave. Amanda Ripley. Fergus. McLaren. <laughs> 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 or just Ripley, because that's what everyone calls she her. Call it, yeah, she, just Ripley. Everyone just says Ripley. But, but if I put just Ripley, then people get that's confused. Not oh, <laughs> you play the DLC version. It's really nice. Yeah, it's honestly. I, know. So. <laughs> I thought that aliens that's what, fans. <laughs> I was worried that someone actually Boo. nominated that. So the Boo. goat from Goat Simulator. Oh, I like goat. Hell yeah, goat. I like goat. I Fer- need some of that. Fer- Fergus. Fergus. <laughs> Yay, Fergus. From Fergus? Wolfenstein: The New Order. Frau. <laughs> Wrong. All Hang Mr. Dave's f- from Wolfenstein: The New Order. Professor like Rapinski from Super Time Force. Yeah. Bloody Mary from The Wolf Among Us. <laughs> Bloopy Mary. Bloop- <laughs> <laughs> and your nemesis from Shadow of Mordor. Should just be Bright Eyes. Oh man, I want to give a special nod to the hobo from Jazz Punk. Just, just for the record. He's my favorite. Uh, my favorite makeout partner. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put uh, lipstick all over your face? I, oh my god, it was terrifying. I made the Joker face with the lipstick. Nice. <laughs> um, I want to g- also give a shout out to BJ Blaskowitz. He's not a new character. No, yeah, he's not new. But holy shit, they yeah. they gave the man some layers. They amped him up. Holy, sh- uh, and they made you should not take BJ Blaskowitz seriously. And William's a good dude. Yeah. He's a magnificent cunt. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, I don't think Fizzy's going to make the cut. But Who's Fizzy? The mascot. F- Fizzy is the mascot Uh-oh. of the energy drink. He's like, but he, oh, yeah. he's an in, he's an he's like a mini boss and that kind of stuff. So, mm-hmm. and he's annoying, but it's he's a standout standout insomniac character. So, um, Fizzy. I would I, cut uh, Frau. Her messed up face. I mean, no, Frau no, Fra was fucking evil, man. She was evil. <laughs> yeah, she was. She's got, evil. and she's got, she's kind of got the cool, the the cool scene. I think, like yeah. as far as dialogue goes, and she's she's an evil, evil lady. Cause, yeah, because the train, the train area was kind of cool. Yep. So I'm not ready to cut her. All yet. right. Well, let's cut Digital Spacey then. Yeah, because he is he on here because his character's cool, or is it because it's Kevin Spacey? Because it's Kevin. Both. Spacey. I thought it was Both. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Exactly. So. Um, House of Cards falling down. Yeah. Goat. Yeah. There's no real character there, but okay. The goat. He, he made the list. I That's just good. like the fact that they made a game <laughs> out of goats. How do you feel yeah, about? I, how how do you feel about bread? <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about? I am bread. bread is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm not I gonna lie. I actually, I would put bread before goat on this list. Bread did come out. No, it's bread. Bread might still be early. Can, can we swap? It doesn't matter with bread. <laughs> no, it does. <laughs> this whole the, yeah, this whole this whole thing would be different if we included early access. <laughs> I know, you couldn't shut me uh, up. How is Ripley? Like, is there is there a there, are, there? there are layers there? Yeah, okay. there okay. are layers. But, uh, initially, you're just kind of like, oh, great. But then, really, I mean, like you said, as 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 lengthy as the game is, you really start peeling back that onion pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, I maybe think, maybe cut douchebag. You guys it's tell a, me. It's a funny moment. It's a funny moment in the game, but I don't know. I don't know. They reference it quite a bit. Yeah. And it. But I don't. I don't know that. I mean, does his character develop? I, like, I don't know that don't, your character is. Your character does develop. Yeah. You go get uh, rhinoplasty, and you become. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's not like the funniest part of the game, though. No. Like, there's so much more in that I, game than him. But avoiding spoiler territory, yeah. I think the the end of the game may, possibly made me laugh the hardest. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. Um, knowing what that is, yeah. so I would actually choose Bloody Mary over Bigby to represent the Wolf Among Us. I don't know if Bigby's going to make it. Yeah. Well, people have different Bigbys, but True. Bloody Mary True. is. Yeah. I didn't like my Bigby. He was kind of an ass. My Bigby was. He was yeah. a little bipolar. <laughs> yeah, he was a bipolar, <laughs> bipolar Bigby. He okay. drank. That was. <laughs> he <funny>. drank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, R- Rapitsky's not going to make the cut. He's got some. It was, good, it was he's funny, got some good jokes but and I like that's about it. All the time stuff. Yeah. Is Pagan Men not going to make the cut? Or is he pretty? 
Pagan Men is essentially Far Cry 4's Voss. Yeah. I heard Voss is better. But, yeah, well, Voss is better due to, I guess, the amount of time you spend with the two Mm -hmm. comparatively. Um, I don't see Pagan Men winning this. He says some stuff. He's got kind of a real dickish personality. I'm going to keep Goat over Pagan Men. But, (laughs) But, yeah, they've, they've kind of been playing that same kind of character for a while. So. Yeah, they've used the character before. There's a dog in the background. No oh, there's a dog. Oh my God. It. <laughs> Audio wise, there's a dog in the background. There's a dog. I'm cutting. Can I cut goat? You can't cut a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Things happen to goat. Goat's character, like man, yeah, goat had like a goat. family. You don't know this backstory yet, do you? <laughs> goat became Satan. That's true. <laughs> That's the first thing I did. Yeah, devil goat. Devil goat. You can cut him. <laughs> <laughs> what about Nemesis? I guess technically, but man, yeah, but he's like my memorable. Ca- I mean, Bright Eyes is like one of the most memorable things I have this year. Yeah, but not everybody had it. So no, yeah, not everyone fine. shares. Yeah. Well, that's, like, that's why you put Nemesis, right? You kind of make that story. Which I think I think that's cool to reward that. But okay, I think I think I didn't really have a Nemesis that stood yeah, out for really? me yeah. because no one. No one was better than your bright eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That kind of helps and hurts that at the same time for that yeah. particular category. I got. I had a bright eyes in mind. I had a screamer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a real screamer. Yeah, yeah, I had a real screamer. It's, it's a solid, <laughs> solid final six. We got Iron Bowl, Douchebag, Ripley, Furious, Frau, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just Bloody Mary's just really she's a fantastic villain and I just she was the only character that I got amped up to be like get get back here we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> settle this yeah. <laughs> sure not talking about Fergus <laughs> I never got mad at Fergus he's my boy he's um, your brosive brosive yeah yeah I can't speak to douchebag and does anybody know the depth of Iron Bowl I know. Cold is. Seems to be beloved, but yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's great, making decent arguments about these other. I mean, he's the most. Area, he's right. probably the most memorable character of that game. Because that's my only issue with it. Yeah, that. yeah, and the fact that it's Freddie Prince Jr. is weird. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> what? I didn't know that. Either. <laughs> All right, he yeah, stays. Iron Bull stays. Iron Bull. <laughs> he is in the final. Is Douchebag gonna make it? I really want Douchebag okay. to make it. Is Ripley going to make it? Douchebag makes me want to finish the game now just to see why he makes it. Well, that, uh, that sucks. I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> no, I, 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 he- I heard that something big happens at the end. Is it possible to mar- uh, argue between Fergus and Frau? Since they're technically I mean, Fergus in the same str- game. Fergus is stronger. I'm just trying to figure out. Frau was, Frau was evil, but Fergus... Because I don't know. I, I, I like can't Fergus's. speak to these, so these three would well, be that's my why, three. And that's, and that's why I need to... I think yeah. we need to decide between a game of Fer- two, two characters. Fergus is there the entire time right. and constantly right. changing and affecting sure. you. Frau has some standout scenes, has a questionable exit. Um, Choose. She's just, she's just... Actually, out of the villains, I'd rather have Bloody Mary, so I'm going to go ahead okay. and... Um, yep. I'm going to argue more about why I think douchebag should make it. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a character creation thing. So, I mean, but essentially that character is a solid entity in the game. It's not, you just make a person and that person does stuff. He's the integral part of the story. Yeah. It's integral to the story. The characters will introduce you to other characters. And for the most part, it's all, yeah, it's just your visual appearance is the only thing that's different. It's your visual appearance and the characters will, will talk to you. They'll be like, you know, he's got information or, he, you know, he's here and you'll just like sit there and you're like a silent protagonist and it'll be like, this guy thinks he's too good to talk to us or it'll be like, hello, yeah. hello, <laughs> why don't you say something? Yeah. And it's, there's jokes that come from just being this douchebag new kid. Okay. I would put douchebag above Ripley. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Ripley, so. Ripley, there's some, there's some stuff there okay. that kind of sets her apart from, I guess, her mother, mm-hmm. you know, but in terms of new character... I would put douchebag above Ripley, so you can eliminate Ripley. If that's going to help. I'm just glad she's getting mentioned because. And I think I think you could take Iron Bull off now. Boom. With the by Freddie the Prince. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it'd have to be between Iron Bull and Bloody Mary for me. Yeah. Because Fergus and douchebag aren't going anywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Uh, Douchebag okay. locked right. in. Sorry, Iron, B- Iron Bull. We can cut Iron Bull. Or can you? Furries? He's got a tough outside, <laughs> but a soft inside. <laughs> I I mean I, I I would pick <laughs> I would pick Fergus over Bloody Mary, but I don't know enough about douchebag, so I'm going to go Fergus. We I are all douchebag. Fer- Fer- <laughs> Fergus definitely had more you flair, obviously, bag. for I reasons that Aaron already mentioned. I would vote Fergus. He's magnificent. In this one, he is magnificent. Oh, yeah. So you won't have a vote. Um, <laughs> anybody feel strongly about Bloody Mary? No. Kay. I get where you're coming from, and I watched you play. Man, yeah, yeah. She was the, the bright spot for me. She so, is a she's a very insane. Considering character. how <laughs> indifferent or how much I hated most of the other characters. Yeah, we, we had some strong hate for characters, <laughs> but Bloody Mary is a, probably Wolf the Flair. strongest part of the Wolf Among Us. Yeah, I'm okay with Fergus. So yeah, but I it sounds like Fergus, Fergus is the winner here. Fergus, yeah. you're okay with Fergus over douche. Yep. Fergus cleaning up. Douche, yeah, Fergus. I mean, Fergus. Douchebag will never fade in my heart. I mean, we Fergus all expected. <laughs> Wolfenstein to take home all the character awards. It's I'm, fine. I'm just, yeah, I'm glad Aaron <laughs> fought for douchebag because he's right. The yeah. ending of that is is well worth. <laughs> so our Mr. Dave award for the best new character goes to Fergus from Wolfenstein: The New Order. Uh, runners up, douchebag from <laughs> South Park: <laughs> Secret <laughs> Truth, so and Bloody Mary from The Wolf Among Us. Oh, next I'm up, satisfied. this is going to be a similar battle, but oh, a geez. little bit different stakes. The comeback award. So it's like a series, a series or franchise saving sequel or new start for for franchise. So pre-existing amazing comeback. So our nominees are sticks. <laughs> <laughs> so he vomits, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it brought that back. More games are going to have that in 2015. A real comeback year for more, vomits more and farts. <laughs> it's Call of Duty. And douches. And douchebags. Douchebags. Advanced Warfare. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah. It's spacey it's comeback. Pretty amazing. Dragon Age Inquisition. I guess. Like, I, I, I really... Yeah, never mind. Mario Kart... Mario Kart 8? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alien Isolation. Super Smash Bros. It's back. Apparently it was apparently it was down. It was gone, but now it's back. Well, Brawl. Some I people said, argue I about says Brawl. the same thing about uh Reaper, about did, Mario Kart. So, Mario well, Kart. someone Wait, someone uh, shit on Mario Dial, Kart 7. Dialbo 3. Dial, that was that was the Wii one, right? <laughs> Dialbo. Uh, no, Mario Dial Kart Bo 7 3. is the 3DS. Oh, 3DS. Oh. Mario Kart Wii. Is the I'll say Mario Don't, Kart Wii was good. Don't worry, I, think I read that about 15 times before I corrected you, just to make sure my alcohol wasn't really. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> Reaper? <laughs> no, he, t- he he put Dalbo. Oh, Dalbo. Diablo, Diablo Three, Reaper Souls, Far Cry Four. Apparently, three sucked. <laughs> Wolfenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate water. <laughs> A New Order. Middle Earth. Shadow of Mordor. Why I'm typing it out fully this time? And yeah, I don't know why you did that. Um, South Park, the Stick of Truth. Anything else to add? Uh, I would honestly, I would put NBA 2K15 on there. Oh. I should put all the sports. In one. <laughs> <laughs> just say all the sports. Say all the sports. <laughs> <laughs> I would put Thief on there, but just I like the I like all Got, the Thief. No, <laughs> I'm glad that it came back. So that's it. You need to cook longer. That would be it. I don't see anything else I'm excited about. Oh, you, he said thief, so thief will get on the board and, and immediately remove. No, well, I think we'll. Uh, we'll uh, Could remove. Uh, I okay. I, I would uh, remove Smash Brothers. Yeah. Smash. It was, it was never really down. Was Smash it? Brothers and Cart, like as far as yeah, being down and out. I don't think either of those franchises were I was at risk not, of. Well, not hard. No. And when you say comeback, like. Yeah, I mean, games ser- it's like the anywhere. games were terrible and people ser- hate the franchise. Series and saving. Now it's better. Like, they're just going to keep making them. In competitive circles, I could maybe find the argument, but not. it's not oh. personal to me for Super yeah. Smash Brothers. That yeah. I, I don't think Brawl was terrible. Some people th- mm. like hate it yeah. just terribly. But you okay with Mario Kart too? Mario Kart, yeah, it's not yeah. It's not a contender here. And I think you get 2K15 off there too because 14 was a good game. That's what, what, yeah, why are you saying 15? Because I actually heard bad things about 15. Like, the launch didn't go all that well. I got both, so I... I, I wasn't putting 14 in perspective, but... 
I don't think that series has been in they, trouble, and it's been well, it's been solid. Yeah. It's not NBA Live, man. <laughs> well, it's of course it's, it's not the, NBA yeah, 14 Live. Was, fourteen was real solid. Yeah, fourteen was good. I just really liked what they did with the the individual well, outside of the awful scanning. Yeah. Software, which is terrifying. You think what's your face's face is terrifying. <laughs> just look at your own whenever you get scanned in in two K fifteen. Real messed up face. I just really like what they did about face. the Assassin's Creed Unity faces. <laughs> Well, they implemented you know, the the, eyeballs. <laughs> the player, you know, progression and stuff yep. like that. I thought that was really cool. So I just wanted to make sure it got at least a nomination out there. No, it's 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 solid. But I, yeah, when you when you compare it to two K fourteen, yeah, makes sense. Uh, um, we'll take Far Cry off. Yeah, Far Cry four. Yeah. Cause Far Cry three yeah. was awesome. I just thought he hated Blood Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Thief. Well, I mean. It brought it back. I'm glad that it did. It's in the. It oh. came back from there hadn't been a thief game in forever. Yeah, I think we wanted more of it, mm. more from it. But, um, oh, yeah, I would take it I off. Like it's not going to win against I some like of these others. Like. What about There's, Diablo three? Go- okay, and of this list, I got a Call of Duty is my first target. So, taking it off. Yeah. It did bring it well, back. Ghost was Wait, pretty was bad, actually. Ghost? Uh, yeah, Ghost I mean, yeah. they're just going to keep making. I mean, when what was the last Call of Duty you they enjoyed? Will keep making them. They're going to be good. Oh, that's not a fair question. I'll enjoy most of them. So, I thought Black Ops 2 was going to be it. but Yeah, it's like Black Ops 2. I remember you saying you didn't like it that much. Ghost was terrible. D- did any of us play Black Ops 1? So, I mean, w- yeah, I did. But nobody, I mean, I don't remember anybody talking excitingly about Call of Duty since Modern Warfare. Right. But Advanced Warfare is actually really good. Diablo's not going to win but was it was Was Call of Duty really in sort of any problem where it was not going to get made no because no, it's activision creatively <laughs> um but not, yeah they're still selling would you call it a series saving problems. sequel though that's the thing i mean none of these have no, that no. issue i mean all of these games <laughs> i think yeah oh uh, there's a couple there's a couple yeah um i think uh, oh, damn it. <laughs> i think I think Mordor probably could just, go. Just copy it. Copy it real quick. Is it saving? I, 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 just, it's just it's just, it's just, copy all the text. Oh, 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 copy all the text. Shut up. Switch I agree with Cole. The layer. There you go. About it's Mordor. like it's 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 made me it made me interested it it made me interested in a Lord of the Rings game. But yeah, I, I, I don't think I don't think the the Lord of the Rings games were that far down either because War in the North yeah. was all right. Um, also, that didn't bring back Lord of the Rings game. It just. Yeah, created a fun experience with yep. the Nemesis. I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay with that. I mean, if it was in a different environment, it would just it would have gotten the same. Honestly, yeah, you could have had that without Lord of the Rings, and it would have been a fun game. Exactly. I would say maybe it brought back open world climbing. Oh, yeah, I mean it's gone. <laughs> I would take Wolf, maybe take Wolfenstein off. Yeah, because of, for reasons you said earlier. Yeah, yeah, I mean it was, it's great. It's great, but Wolfenstein hasn't been terrible. Yeah, it hasn't really been terrible. But it brought it back. Like they, yeah, they're probably going to start. It was more there was a Wolfenstein there was a little games. bit of oh. They're making another Wolfenstein game. I didn't know that that was an option or a thing that you should probably do. I thought we were done with this, but yeah. yeah. Do, but, you want to, do you want more? Do you want? And then also, Wolfenstein? I do want more Wolfenstein. Yeah, I would. Yeah. So it's a so it's a comeback. But I don't more. So it, I don't. I don't think okay, it was okay, as down. South, South Park and Alien. Those franchises were, were bad. Shitter. Yeah, they so were. Those they're guys terrible. aren't moving. They're, they're, I don't think they should go. We're talking between Wolfenstein, Dragon Age, Call of Duty, and I think it's between Wolfenstein and Dragon Age because Call of Duty still isn't in that much trouble. Right. Well, neither is Dragon Age, really. Is it? Dragon I, Age Two is sucked. a barf popsicle. <laughs> I mean, my, <laughs> it was a long ass time ago. <laughs> but the thing with Call of Duty, it's like Call Call of Duty fans like love all of the Call of Duties, even though we've kind of hated a lot of them, and they. Ghosts was terrible to everybody. I mean, nobody likes ghosts. So uh, there's a pretty big jump from know. there's a pretty big jump. Dragon from, Age has the same same. Does it? Yeah. I and, mean, and then it went away like to a point where you didn't know if it was coming back, and then what this game was going to be, mm. and <laughs> depending on your opinion, it might be a be- it's a better game than Advanced Warfare. Like well, as far as oh, it probably is a better game. Okay, so let's use. I'm mean, gonna shift the argument a little bit sure. with Wolfenstein, kind of like I what think, I think Wolfenstein's yeah. between those two. Well, kind of what Jordan was saying earlier was that um, it brought it back. Well, no, nobody knew, nobody had any expectation for the game, mm-hmm. and I honestly don't think. I think if they just didn't make another Wolfenstein, I don't think there were like it would just devastate people. Like you're not making another Wolfenstein game, you know? <coughs> Whereas like if they didn't make another South Park game. 
or like try to do something else with alien isolation, you know. And obviously they're going to try something else with Call of Duty. That has changed now. Do you think that has changed the Wolfenstein fan to where if they never release a game, there will be another Nick game, there will be people upset about it? I don't think so. No. I'm satisfied with the one-off experience, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I want to see what that developer does. They don't have to do another Wolfenstein game, though. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it saved the series. Yeah. It just... It just I mean, honestly, if, if, if it, it had, honestly just made it harder for them to make another game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If Wolfenstein had never come okay. out, nobody okay. would really be disappointed. I, right. Okay. I'm still... Yeah. To take that off. Yeah. I agree. Okay. And you guys can fight about Call of Duty. Yee. And Dragon Age. I think Dragon Age is a bigger... Like a, a bigger swing. From where two was, and then it being a dormant. I think in terms of saving the series, yes, Dragon Age. Bioware's track record recently. I mean, call the Call of Duty franchise was probably never down because everybody. I think Advanced Warfare gave it a shot in the arm, but I think yeah, I think think people were down. Yeah, I think Dragon Age is fucking back. I think Advanced. I think Advanced Warfare brought back everybody that it lost a long time ago. I'd agree. That's possible. But the so I think Dragon Age is bringing in new people, mm-hmm. yep. whereas Call of Duty is not right. necessarily bringing in a lot Dragon of Age people. is bringing in new people for Dragon Age, and it's just like, okay, Bioware, let's go, let's mm-hmm. let's see what's like. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I am. I will. I might give Mass Effect Four an open a, open shot. Heck now, yeah! So, all right, you can you can take Call of Duty off. Hey, it, it, made, put, it, it made, put up a bigger fight than I it expected. Made, it, yeah, made top, it made top four because I it was almost the hey, let's put it on the list and immediately take it off. So. All right, so these are our finalists. Uh, huh. Oh, boy. So, it, so, okay, I don't know if either way, I don't know either way if we were going to get another South Park game. Matt and Trey kind of said that we're not. Yeah. Um, so, but at the same time, the comeback swing from the shittiness that Yeah, that the franchise. comeback was real. It's the only South Park game worth playing. They wanted redemption, and since they nailed it, they'll probably stop while they're on top. Yeah, they'll probably stop. I also would, to shift to Alien, Yep. for anybody, any developer, to attempt to do something like they did is pretty amazing. And then just honestly put so many small touches into the game that just made it a complete visceral experience. Yeah. I mean, you got Colonial Marines, which is one of the worst oh, yeah. rated games ever. Yeah. All right. Terrible. Up to isolation. And the fact that they could have made any kind of alien game, like they could have easily just like, oh, here's your Colonial gun, here's Marines everything too. else, right. And then just thrown you in there and still made that actually fun and enjoyable. No, they they like, they stripped this down to the bare essentials. Essentially, you're just a person running around a space station with an alien. Like that doesn't sound like a very interesting game, but it's like crazy how I'm okay with fun alien. that is. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'll cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> you give me crazy eyes. Coleman and is Cole okay with that? Yeah, he likes Cole. some I'm Dragon right Age, I hear. I'm all, right, I'm all right with that. All right. Alien Isolation. Isolation. Alien Isolation. Alien Isolation wins. Uh, our Alien Isolation. <laughs> That's really hard. <laughs> uh, cut me off. Keep on trucking. Uh, it's our comeback award winner. Uh, runners up Dragon Age Inquisition and South Park The Stick of Truth. Boop, boop. Okay. Keep doing that again. Amateur hour. Think Wolfenstein of that went down quickly on that one. <laughs> All right. Um, next up is our <laughs> Tingle Award <laughs> Gross. for worst character of the air. Yep, that's <laughs> not gonna fit. Sorry, Tingle. Well, not really. Digital Spacey. <laughs> 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 no, no. We should put whatever his actual name is. Gosh, what game. is his actual name? Uh, d- exactly. That's why. Yeah. His name, his name um, Frank. Ghost. Frank. <laughs> Frank. From Final Fantasy VI. Just Frank. I mean, Des- he's Ghost from Destiny. Same, same character of cards. from House of Cards. House of Cards all yeah. over you. Aid- Aiden from... Is it Aiden Pierce? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Man. Watch Dogs. Ghost is so boring. Beauty no, and Beast, they come as a package deal. Oh, they're annoying too. There's a wizard on the moon. And from The Wolf Among Us. <laughs> Buffkin from the Wolf Among <laughs> Us. Oh God, that I might be a Bufkin. personal thing. I hate Buffkin. The Crypt Dark. <laughs> I hate the Crypt Dark. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Destiny. There's the yeah. narrator from Valiant Hearts. He's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Real Slim Whatever Shady. the name of your brother is in Infamous Second Son. <laughs> Still don't know his name. <laughs> uh, any of your friends when you play Johann Sebastian Joust? And everyone yes, in D4. <laughs> Every character in that game is D- terrible. In Dunk Swatsy. Characters in D4? <laughs> yeah. Your friends in Forza are terrible, too. Any other recommendations? Forza? Nominations? Oh, yeah. yeah, like, so... Like Horizon? Yeah, yeah, so the way the way Horizon and, and Five work, it's like if you play Forza, it keeps track of how you drive yeah. and uploads that data to the cloud. <laughs> oh, shit. And when yeah. and when you when you race, the characters are actually your friends. Right. You see their yeah. gamer tag above it, and they drive like your friends do. Yeah. And some <laughs> of my friends, this. some of my friends are dicks. Mm-hmm. Aggressive. But so am I because I just ram into people. Yeah. You so. have Forza. I do have Forza. All right. Whatever. I don't have Horizon, but I have. Uh, right. I played the demo, and it's exactly yeah. like Five. I did not expect a drive guitar reference this year. Yeah. <laughs> drive guitar, <laughs> drive club. Any other any other nominations? <laughs> all the characters in Jesus. D4. These are all <laughs> terrible. This is terrible. I don't it's, know the D four. Okay, any scene somebody on D4, our site, every character, and I don't know if they're here. Actually, recommended brother like in a po- the brother from Infamous Second Son in a positive light. So, As your mm. bros, is it that person here? No. I will think it was me. Will that person step doing, forward? And I was doing it as a joke. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> okay. We solved that. Because he was like your real bro. He is terrible. He's oh, just... Yeah. Like, um, like, that was the guy that just made me really grit my teeth. So why like, is he terrible? He's terrible, he's terrible because man. he's just like... You're a fucking superhero, and he's trying to hold you down. Yeah, he's a wet blanket. Of all <laughs> <laughs> I would maybe take Aiden off. He's a bland character. He's really. bland. Yeah. Yeah. But is he offensive? I don't know. Not offensively. He's just, he's, just, he's, just, he's just an average character in a terrible game. There's just nothing yeah, to him. It's not like the game was good and he ball made it cap, bad. Trench coat has yeah. his phone is more interesting than he is. It's just generic. Yeah, if he didn't have his phone, he'd it be did, nobody. Yeah, he'd just be a guy in a trench coat and he'd be a taxi. That's a real game. sex offender kind of game. <laughs> Did, bu- did Buffkin? They just call it Peeping Tom. <laughs> Peeping Tom. <laughs> Annoy the shit out of anyone else. I hated his voice. His voice is dumb and I have a feeling he's just like important in the comics and that's just who he is but yeah he's like a librarian I'm okay with cutting him yeah I'm, I mean I'm gonna cut him I don't hate okay. him as much as I hate the narrator okay but just All watch right. yourself in Valiant Hearts <laughs> alright so that's staying that's staying look at um, my shoulder <laughs> I, I th- we got our shout out to Johan Sebastian De- Joust but um, yeah, when you when your friends break other friends' glasses in the first game, <laughs> <laughs> the first time we ever played, and then you know you get a good excuse to trip your friends and hit them and leave bruises without getting any <laughs> trouble. So without, without trouble, it, it kind of all turns you into worst characters of the year. I would take off characters in D four because that's kind of the point, isn't it? I don't They're know. supposed that's to be. I mean, it's, it's supposed I mean, to be a bad game. Yeah, the like, ga- I, well, I think the game's like intentionally made kind of yeah. cheesy like that. So, uh, all right, I'm in. I'm in the camp that Destiny on here. What's that? Who? I said, can we have two things from Destiny on here? I think we can. I know where my vote uh, goes for a Destiny <laughs> characters. Ghost is far worse than Cryptarch. Cryptarch is a dick, but Ghost is the most terrible. It's so side monotoned. I just didn't care. I I honestly. But didn't he's care always about Ghost. talking. And I give it up with this. On he kind of makes the game boring. Yeah, he brings the game down okay, okay. far more than Cryptarch does. Okay. Cryptarch, yeah, like Cryptarch just adds to it. He adds to it, but Ghost should be a better sidekick. Right. Uh, of this from list, Bungie. I hate I hate the wet blanket the least. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because <laughs> Beauty and the Beast is pretty annoying. Oh they are fuck terrible. Those. <laughs> I don't. I like Justin. Just get mad just thinking about it. <laughs> I don't compare. I, I am the winner. And let's move on. I'm doing a murder what? investigation. I don't give a shit about your domestic issues. Stop mm-hmm. trying to be involved. Like I, it was. I was like Save I saw Beauty marriage. in the first episode, and she like they had this interaction like I think near near the elevator or whatever, and she was trying to like basically like tell me like complain about her husband, and I was like I don't give a shit. Like I basically, <laughs> I, you have the you always have the option to not say anything or have something negative, and I was just like I don't like I don't never want to talk to you again. Flippantly. And she fucking kept showing up, and then you get into like a fist fight with Beast because he thinks. You think she, yeah, she's cheating she, on I'm like, I, I him with you? I could not be less interested in, in this. <laughs> yeah. And it just wouldn't fucking go away. And 
I, how, it, how do you the, really feel? <laughs> it's well, not like, a very strong case, you're Rather go on a just, date uh, with Bluebeard than, yeah, right. <laughs> than Beauty. They bothered me more than both of the other two characters. So, uh, I, I think, and like I said, I was indifferent to ghosts. So I'm Beauty and Beast or narrator. Narrator for me takes uh, takes that game out of the running of being like one of the best games of the year. I think because the storytelling is great. Character. The storytelling is great, and the art is great. And that narrator just brings it down in between all the settings. <laughs> so I was talking talking to them at, like in between. What is that Eminem song I was referencing? Like the uh, it's off the first album where he's he's like the you've got it's him and Dre and they're doing like the split personality thing. I can't remember the name yeah. of it. I know the what's music the video. Huh? What was it? What's the dif- not what's the difference? Um, well, no. anyway, there's like the voiceover guy that I call yeah, 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 yeah. I call token white dude that does voice does voiceover on rap albums yes. and it, it, that is the voice in between oh, the cut uh, scenes in mm-hmm. valiant hearts it's like the opposite of yeah, bastion because it's like it bastion every- the narrator made you forget that the gameplay was repetitive and boring but it was like, but in this the narrator is so bad it's like he's supposed to add levity to to what's going on and make things much more somber and but, but it does the complete. It takes you. But it just out it, it sounds like you're watching like a this. History Channel special because he's just I talking think it about. Like you're watching a music video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 bad. I mean, it it really takes the game down. So a I'm notch. wound up. So you got to really sell me on Dinklage because I can ign- I could ignore Dinklage. Yeah, Dinklage was just boring. But he's not the reason the game sucked. He wasn't sexy like Cortana. He had his, he had his shiny he moment not early sexy. too. That's his problem. They took out his favorite line. Yeah. So my favorite line of his. So yeah. Well, was the the wizard? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He says that nowhere in the game, which is very disappointing. It was in the, it was in the, the alpha. Alpha. alpha yeah. yeah, but not final product. What are you fighting for here, Aaron? What do you? Can I give it to Beauty and Beast? <sighs> so I didn't hear the narrator. It sounds go, awful. See, I'm gonna go narrator because he's around the whole That's game. Fine. That's Beauty, fine. I need, yeah. to, I need to. Like, Beauty and the Beast. The goes narrator sounds the beast awful. Goes away. I need ghost out of the way before I can push my. But I don't know. I think I'm the only one here that just really hates that ghost is so terrible. Coming from a Bungie game where they had Cortana, oh, yeah. they had all these great characters in the Halo universe, and then they give you Ghost in Destiny. And they give you Peter Dinklage, and you're like, oh yeah, and they're like Peter Dinklage. I'm like, oh he's you know he's blowing up right now. Game of Thrones and stuff. And I then still contend. His I, I still contend that they told him to do like you're an AI, you're a robot. I it's, feel that's like he, very I possible. feel like they gave him bad direction. It's possible it's yeah, not his so fault too. at all. Because it's Peter Dinklage. They, yeah, they probably told him to talk like a robot. Like, be modern, yeah. Talk like a robot. Yeah, <laughs> but, like a robot. <laughs> but even at that, it's like Cortana is AI as yeah, well. Yeah, Cortana and, she's not boor- and she's not boring. They should know better. They c- they heard what he, the lines he said. She goes rampant. The things, yeah. the, the things he was saying, the way he delivered. Like it, they heard that stuff and they left that in the game and are like, that's that's Ghost. Okay. <laughs> you're okay. You're, you're okay to let go of Ghost a little bit. I I can. Passionate, yeah. Passionate I. Arguments here. It won't change how much I hate Ghost. I feel like I've. But d- Beauty and the Beast. Those are some fucking terrible characters <laughs> that I will support you. They bring it you. down, man. They bring the whole game down, really. Like, they're the worst characters in that game, and they have literally like nothing to do with the murder them. mystery. They have nothing to do with it. They are just there to be terrible window dressing they're that there, there are to, more to fables. The, game. the, the, prob- the problem is they're there yeah. about as much as the narrator is, so it's hard to say which one. Oh, okay. I mean, I do, th- I do feel like Valiant Hearts did have a higher ceiling if the narrator was out of the way than... The Wolf Among Us did. Okay. Um, I just don't think The Wolf Among Us was ever going to be great. You know what I mean? Um, but Valiant Hearts has that. some of that stuff. But I don't know. Like, what was your... I feel like I gave my my pitch what landed more with people. Because I can go either way. Okay. This narr- no. Yeah, this narrator sounds awful. Yeah. The narrator awful. sounds terrible. Okay. In the game... It's all yeah, t- yeah, the game sounds it's like it has the take potential. That narrator. Oh, Suck man. it. Suck it, narrator. <laughs> really, it's just Beast. Okay. Really? Narrator you, win. Narrator you would win. say that? You would say it's just Beast? Uh, beauty was kind of annoying. Come too, on. Though. They were both bad. Okay, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Though, collectively. Beauty, yeah, beauty got are, me off of the wrong yeah, start. Collectively, anyway, yeah. they're Narr- a supernova of shit. Narrator, <laughs> narrator knocks that game down a tier. Yes, okay. <laughs> so the worst character of the year uh, is the narrator from Valiant Hearts, runners up, Ghost from Destiny, and Beauty and Beast from The Wolf Among Us. I think we've got yeah one last award here for day three, and uh, that would be the other F-bomb, the mind fuck of the year. 
I like how you say it, but you yeah, asterisked right. it out in the You'll text. Bleep it. Hey, there's a reason. Oh, I guess I guess that goes on the yeah. Uh, so this is for just that that tw- twist you didn't see coming, the <laughs> surprise. Mm-hmm. Um, you could just leave those three up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, nominees are okay. So w- what we've got here is we've listed games. We're gonna try to keep it. We might have to go into spoiler territory for this. Spoiler free. Um, but be, use your discretion when. Ha- Don't when spoil ha- South Park. Because <laughs> <laughs> I gotta finish it. Um, so we've just got finish. the games listed, and then we'll go back. Back you up if that's what I have to do um, to keep you from spoiling. Goat Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jazz Punk. <laughs> that's, is that the. I, st- yeah, I think that's it's the first time it showed up today. That's the first time Jazz Punk. Yeah. It st- starts mm. showing up at the end. Potato Man. I think it's the second time it showed seeks up. Seeks the <laughs> truth. I mentioned the hobo and making out with him, oh. but, yeah, you but did. I didn't write it down. Potato Man. I think I spelled that right. Yeah. Uh, Super that's Time the Force. Truth. I spell it with an E. <laughs> the Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Potato. Which really made me question what Ethan that game might be. So. So we'll have to expand that was, on that. Yeah, that was a very shallow nomination. I can explain <laughs> it later. <laughs> I like I like this. Like, I was blocking Master Chief Collection from showing up in most places, but the playlists, <laughs> the playlist is cool in Master Chief Collection. It would have been cooler if it worked. That's that's part of the, <laughs> that's part like, of the, that that's part of the mind okay. fuck though. Yeah, it's but they don't work. It, it it gets you from two angles. And then Monu- <laughs> and then monument. <laughs> oh, that's a real mind fuck. Mo- monument Valley. <clears throat> yep. Any other nominees? I thought the uh, transistor weapons was okay. a clever gameplay mechanic. Mm. Oh, it's not really a mi- yeah, is it a mind fuck? fuck though? Is that yes. yeah? Is that a yes? In the sense that uh, he didn't know how to use them. Yeah. It. <laughs> takes a while to really figure out how they work and joking. then which ones work the best. <laughs> now you say that, yeah. You can, <laughs> you, can, you can get a really terrible setup and that game can be impossible to finish. Okay. I, right. I, I, I like it's like that its argument. own little puzzle. It's like its own little puzzle. I like that argument. Um, let's see. Goat Simulator. Are we basically saying the devil stuff? That entire fucking game, okay. really. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything in Dude, Ghost well, Simulator. Every couple and of I, seconds in that game. I think you're if going, you're gonna, what the f- oh, I, we're gonna have to compare. I some think stuff, if you're so. gonna bring up Ghost Simulator, you have to bring up Octodad. Just trying to figure out, like trying to move. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't like. I don't want it to be a mechanic, though. It's it's, it's well, no, that yeah. whole game was in that sense. Okay. I mean, if you're gonna bring up a, if you're gonna bring up weapons and transistor, but that's what the game like. There's no twist there. Like that is the game. Yeah. Like that's not a. Surprise. Then get rid of Go Simulator. But stand, okay, standing, okay but <laughs> standing, get rid of it the, now. Standing <laughs> in the middle of that seance and turning into Devil Goat. Yeah, turning. Uh, that, that I did what, not expect. That's, that's that's maybe the highest part of the I mind expected weird physics, not like oh. <laughs> or yeah. when you when you climb to the top not of that tower and it, it takes you into that uh, like that little castle area and all okay. the goats are bowing to you. Yes, uh, yes. yes. All see all that stuff. Like you go places. You expect it just to be a goat walking well, around. I'm keeping it for now. In a sandbox, but then all this weird shit's happening. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can have a standout moment from Jazz Punk. I I would either say the mini games or the the it it was just the makeup. We- shit. It was just weird. That's what <laughs> the ending, the makeup, probably. the makeup was kind of funny. Yeah, the makeup was funny. I mean, a lot of stuff was funny with the very ending of the game. I wouldn't say. Are you talking about the credits? Oh yeah, the very ending. Yeah, the credits. All right, we'll go with the credits. <laughs> which which button did you push? I, it was so long did ago. It, did it know. matter? I don't know. We if it were me, me, and Justin were trying to figure out if it mattered which button you pushed. Okay. Oh, I know what you're talking what's about. The, yeah, I don't the, know if it matters. What's the twist of I Potato th- Man? I heard. Okay. I saw written down. It was just you're a potato, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> okay, so the entire game is weird, but wait, is, I don't know if it's a spoiler or not. We're trying to be. Try not to spoil things, okay, but okay, I mean, never mind. Never mind. Then, then we'll come back to it then. It would be the ending of potato. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Let's just uh, just as long as we know you're what we're comparing here. Potato, you're just a naked man. <laughs> you're a man. Uh, Super Time Force. I would say, hey, it's a puzzle game, not an action game. <laughs> that was kind of I was, yeah. I was blown away by like the time. Yeah, it's how you like rewind the time and then add another character in. Mm-hmm. Like that stuff was pretty trippy. Okay, how would yes. you just go? Oh, how would we describe the Ethan Carter? Ethan Carter was just, I, I walked into this house and looked at a book and my screen flashed and then all of a sudden the way you walked through the house changed. So it's like you'd go through a doorway 
and it wouldn't take you into the room that you were actually looking okay. into. So it it made the like you kind of had this puzzle of trying to figure out where you had to get to certain rooms in the house, but you didn't know how to get there because all the doors got screwed up. Uh, <laughs> but it, I mean, it wasn't. It can probably get removed. Oh, that's it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, that's what it was. Playlist and Master Chief are mainly just the changes in physics between jumping between games rapidly. I feel like that'd be so distracting. <laughs> <laughs> and the sheer amount of them physics. and the fact they didn't work. Uh, Monument Valley, that is more of a holistic. It's um, a, yeah, it's a but holistic I, just, I mean, you just choose any of those last puzzles, but just like yeah. how everything comes together. Um, there's like a there's a very kind of background story to Monument Valley that I still to this day do not understand what was happening. People I, will I, talk to you and say things. And in that regard, like as far as that that is what the game is, so I I might okay. take it out just for not being a twist. Yeah, All right. Yeah, uh, it's and it's it's not you know, it's not that different from Fez where <laughs> the twist isn't there like Fez is, you know. I don't know, it might be more it might be actually more Fun than Fez. <laughs> Phil no, Fish. Yeah, but the twist is <laughs> um, Don't summon Did anyone him. play Never Ending Nightmares? No. No. I watched some quick look stuff of that, but I'm going to give it a nod, but we'll take it off. Hey, look, it got written down. Nightmares. Okay, it's gone. All right, I like this list. Anything, any, anything else come up? What about, what about PT? Uh, if you can speak to PT, but yeah. PT. <laughs> I don't know if anybody played it, but... Uh, I played PT. Yeah. Just the... Yeah. It, it was... The just the fact that it came out of nowhere trailer. and... Best yeah, it came out of nowhere. And, and it was, it was weird. It was kind of... Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. kind of hard to figure out. I, I've been... There were actually moments when I was going to play it, but I was like, I don't have the nerve to play it. Just from the little no, I knew about it. it the shit out of me. Yeah. All right. It's creepy. So is, is Transistor, ju- it's just the game mechanic? It's a fuck it. Like, I did not expect the depth of it either. Like, I've, I've kind of come around since... I've only I've, heard I've wor- like never, terrible things about it. Never played a game it's, like I, that. I, I was kind of I was kind of bored. What I saw of it was just boring. I mean, the game, What yeah, I played of it was the, boring. The battle stuff, like, just I the... I wasn't impressed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a game that's a lot different watching than playing. Because when you're playing it, you know, you're actively... Getting bored. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I was watching. Like you're working on the combat in your head, where if you know if you're just watching it, you're just watching someone click here, click. So, there, so when the person it. was playing it and verbally expressing how much they were not enjoying it, that's different. No, I'm not saying that it's everyone that plays the game enjoys it. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think it's. I think it's definitely missing some fun factor. But the how the weapon it? system is the and the depth that went in that and the how that ties to the story. Like you just well, combining. certainly didn't help the entertainment value. But that's not what this is. This yeah, this is the most like, entertaining. I think it has to be entertaining, though, to be. It was. I'm, I'm, just, I'm going from. I'm going from memorable. Fun. Yeah. So. It was memorable how boring it was. I don't. Have, I don't have much <laughs> of a dog in this fight. In no, the, the, the weapon. The weapon system was cool. I get what you're saying there. It. It was. It was different. I thought. I thought we didn't. Didn't we just remove something else though for it just being a mechanic? Isn't that just a mechanic? Was it Octo Dad? But, but it wasn't the selling point of the game. Like it was. It was just. Well like, then, there was a lot of mystery to who won this game was released as far as like what. What is it? Yeah. And terrible. Yeah, I mean, I guess you didn't know. Versus being a goat. <laughs> I, I I did expect it to be a reskinned Bastion, and it wasn't. Right. So that was that was a little surprising. Yeah, and the right. clever gameplay. Or, it's not gonna. It I don't think it holds up to some of the other stuff, <laughs> no. but I'm, like, I'm fine I, with it being. I'm already tired of fighting. So <laughs> you can we, you we can, can take we cool gave the functions it's not you can take Ethan Carter off too because I mean the doorway stuff uh, yeah, isn't P- really new I, I, PT is gonna knock it out of the water with that shit so yeah PT was what is PT the Silent, Silent Hill, Hill demo yeah. more or less playable trailer <laughs> yeah playable Play, trailer. playable trailer for Silent Hill <laughs> it doesn't help but okay T-shirt. yeah it was it was creepy horror experience like a short one I know what Silent Hill is yeah but is that it. Yeah, but it's really but it's freaks some people out. But it's not a game. It's not a complete game. So how does that even make? I mean, list? it's it is. But this is a moment. Like this is. Well, I could bring up all whole yeah. bunch out of okay, early then. access, but I couldn't vote on that. Well, PT. No, well, that's just because it's PT not eligible. Is, <laughs> this isn't either. PT it's, is it's, is actually PT done. Is a, is I mean, a, it's contain, it's self-contained short, thing. It's yeah, game. it's not going to be. But you said it was a trailer. It's that's just what they're calling it. it I mean, they they, they they made a game as a trailer. Delete it. Because I mean, it, it, it was <laughs> that's such bullshit. It took is a few. This, it took two to three hours to beat it, didn't it? Is this like comparable to well, it, uh, it takes Ground Zeros? It takes me yeah. two to three hours to totally. beat most yeah. early access games. Totally. Ground Zeros is considered a game. They sell it. I mean, I don't know if the, you buy. My theory PT. with the the 
early access games is they will get their due when the game is complete. I don't think they will, but that's fine. <laughs> Big mo- <laughs> that's fine. Pessimism. Uh, because technically they won't have an official release date. Yeah, most, yeah. most of them will not. Steam will, Steam will tell me. <laughs> oh. Gabe will <sighs> let all be known. I guess, I guess Gabe will make the call. I, I like this. In th- <laughs> I like this in theory, but I don't the see that play winning. Play. <laughs> yeah, that can go. I also don't. I don't know. Okay, that just gravity. <laughs> <laughs> gravity, man! I can't wrap my head. Um, yeah. This is kind of a negative Magnets. thing with Super Time Force. I think it like I did want the action game. <laughs> yeah, I, I want it to be an action game too. Um, does it wear out after a while? Like after you figure out what it it is, like the way you just layer the characters i don't think it's does it become samey i guess that's the question well uh, yeah you play the you play through each level each level is like its own okay this dude's like staring at us (laughs) (laughs) we play play, you play through each level you you figure it out you just keep (laughs) time traveling a couple of people have stopped right there there might actually at the dog going oh yeah okay (laughs) they're like it's like watching it's like watching one of those radio stations he's like hey what are these guys doing these guys talking about games all right we're down to five uh, basically, I mean, Super Time Force, the entire game is the puzzle game where you just keep making iterations of yourself to get through it. I don't know if it's, it's not the mindfuck of the year, in my opinion. I think it's the same thing. This whole Transistor. category is. It's an interesting game mechanic. But it's the mechanic. Yeah. Okay. But it's not like, whoa, I didn't expect this. So I'm just making JPT nervous with keep, PC. Keep, keep in mind, there's a whole moment of the year category right after this. It sounds like there's a oh, is there? Yeah, yeah. I move stuff. That's you're welcome. Because <laughs> <laughs> we get to do this all over again. So it sounds like some something happens in Potato Man. So I'm fine with it. Goat Simulator, I think, needs to stay. So I would vote between Jazz Punk and PT. Wow. Because I put Jazz Punk a much way above Goat well, Simulator shit. I like goat simulators. Get rid of weirdness. PT. So jazz punk was just. <laughs> I, would get rid of uh, I don't PT. know enough. About, I don't know about enough about potato. Man. I, I guess it depends on like when I played it. the definition of this category because like it's twi- it's surpri- a surprise. Stu- Big stuff, surprise. Stuff happened in goat simulator that twist. I didn't expect twist. Jazz punk was just the whole thing was just weird. So I, I don't know that there okay, was ever in that an ex- regard. PT is exactly what you expect it to be. It's just fucking scary. Yeah, is that PT? Fair? PT yeah. is no, what but you, you didn't know what it was going into it <laughs> okay. necessarily. All right, that's <laughs> tra- all right. Keep it alive. Tra- right. I didn't know that about Clear. jazz punk either. Because I mean, yeah, I don't. I don't know shit about jazz punk. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's it's weird. So I wasn't just because the whole thing was so weird. I mean, I guess the whole game. Well, okay. Was my my argument in defense after saying jazz punk, the entirety of that game is weird. But it starts to become a tangible entity in my mind. Like you, at a certain point, you get what the game is doing. Yeah. And then you get to the end, and the credits happen. <laughs> the, credits like, the credits were weird. And I'm like, All what right. the fuck was this? So yeah, I guess take PT off. I guess. I I guess I'm going PT over goat. PT over goat. Yeah. <laughs> I I prefer yeah. goat. Oh, goat. that's fine. Cause PT. I just I don't know like there's I guess PT you didn't know what it was <laughs> so it was a I mean everybody was just like holy shit Silent Hill when yeah. it was over we didn't really know what it was overrated I think when you say goat simulator you get an idea of what a simulator game is and that's going to be okay. about goats and then there are demon goats <laughs> Where are you at Cole PT obviously Okay he's a hardcore PT man <clears throat> not conf- confused with Potato Man <laughs> Post traumatic I'm okay with Jazz Punk, Potato Man, and PT. Jordan, Jordan, do you have a dog in this fight based on arguments that you've heard? I've, I don't know anything about okay. potato, potato Man, but I would put PT above Goat Simulator. Okay. I'm going to vote for PT. <laughs> <laughs> I, that That's came, the real mic. That one came out of nowhere. What that twist. surprised me. Whoa. I dropped the mic if they let me. <laughs> uh, do, we have three, do we have three Jazz Punk fans? Are you putting potato? Are you putting potato man over jazz punk? Are you putting potato man over jazz punk? Am I putting potato man over? Jazz punk? <laughs> <laughs> oh what god! Potato man. Now? Potato. Okay, potato man does a lot of weird stuff, but I, I came into that game thinking As it was opposed to jazz punk. I came into that game thinking it was a platformer. Yeah. And uh, I think there was a guy, in, or maybe a guy or two in chat right now that saw me play Potato Man. In the very end of that game, I had no idea what was going to happen and then it was over. <laughs> okay. 
And so I, I really think... very similar to jazz punk. Well, I, I, my argument saying that they're different is that I think, well, jazz punk goes on for okay. longer than Potato Man, and I've really started to get into a groove of what jazz punk was dishing towards me. It was all funny. It was all weird. But then I got to the end of it, and I was like, oh, it's over? <laughs> okay. So you're going for Potato Man. Well, I think I'm the only one that would vote Potato Man because well, no one else knows what I'm talking about, I, and I can't spoil but, it. But I also know <laughs> you have played jazz punk, and I'm I'm comfortable in going with your opinion of Potato Man over jazz punk if... How much money do you have? <laughs> this man could be bought. You need, you need to be bribed. I have well, no you're not, dog in this fight. But you're already out of <laughs> PT. Uh, so, I, unless you're actually not voting. I, no, I, I voted for PT. I like PT being in the finals, but at the same time, it's a horror experience. And so it, it's a, more of the surprise is the announcement and its existence. And, and then the, are you figuring really, out what it was. Are you really surprised? Are really? Yeah. I thought Silent Hill was dead. There's no way. What? There's no way. Like, oh, we're just going to leave Silent Hill alone. I think there's the no surprise way. was that PT was good. <laughs> I, I mean, it's I mean, it's got enough buzz around it that I, I'll take I'm it seriously. That it was Guillermo del Toro. Do you also Eugene. think that they went that well, direction? The dude from, they kept dude it, from the Walking they Dead. They kept it, it short because they had to. Yeah. Daryl. Yeah, because the game is <laughs> years away. Crossbow Daryl. I think they just Darryl. did it because that's all they had. Yeah, I mean it was a, it's a it's a demo of the atmosphere or the ideas they're going to put into. Yeah, it's not a demo of the game they're making. It's just a representation of mm. gameplay it's that they. It's just a terrifying game to just, announce. Just that makes, they're just makes me think that there's not a lot to chew on, so they'll just keep it short, shorter and sweet. I think it was, but Sweeter. I think that's what they meant to do. I just have a hard time just thinking that I mean, that qualifies as a game. There are games I play for seconds that. Or just, re- you know, like you look Crossy at Crossy Road. Road. <laughs> yeah. What was it I played? And this uh, has got a couple hours of content and it seems to be affecting people. What was it? Nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> you beat it in like oh, an yeah. hour or two. But uh, yeah. it, it's like you, you play it once and that's the game. And you can continue to keep playing it over and over and over and trying to beat it. But every time you play it, it's like you always play the if entire you play game. you over and over again, it's going to fuck with you. Yeah. So you it's kind of it's kind of in the same category there. <laughs> I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna hate it. So Potato Man wins. No, I mean knowing what I know about all three, which is nothing about PT other than it's Silent Hill and it's scary. I have to go with Potato Man. <laughs> Potato Man was my winner for this. Potato Man with I, a close Jazz Punk. I would pick Jazz Punk over PT. So if you would pick Potato Man over <laughs> Jazz Punk, <laughs> I'm okay with Potato what? Man. I'm okay with that too. All okay. right, Potato Man wins. <laughs> so now I need to play what Potato twist? Man. What Potato a twist! Man. Oh boy, nobody saw that coming. I'm Potato so Man. pissed that PT didn't so win. I can see if I, <laughs> if I have false trust and I like whatever <laughs> character you're creating over there. It's keep me on my toes. My fuck of the year is Potato Man seeks the truth. The the ending to that game followed up by Jazz Punk's credits and PT's. The mind fuck is I that did. we voted for it. And none I, of us I feel it. like I have to actually. <laughs> yeah. Only I played it. I What's feel up? obligated to play it now, just so everybody can. Get that satisfaction. Well, well, as soon as you get a next gen console, the twist is PT? that goat simulator. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> isn't it PS4 only? Yeah. I'll steal one. So that's gonna do it for day three.